this seventh video, we will talk about some exciting capabilities of electric actuators with variable speed motors. Let's reflect back on what we discussed earlier in this video series about AC induction motors. But this time, we'll talk about brushless DC motors. Again, physics still applies for brushless DC motors, and for any given motor, power still equals speed times torque. For actuators with brushless DC motors, there are still internal gears and external gears that can be attached as well. But we'll keep things simple and leave external gears out of it for now. So let's look at our torque and speed chart again. So while with an AC induction motor, given it has a fixed speed, we were really concerned about getting the proper gear ratio to achieve the desired output torque and speed. We are not so concerned about that here. We have torque output, we have output speed. If we need more or less torque, we simply adjust it in the user menu. If we need more or less speed, we can also adjust that in the user menu. So for a particular actuator, there's a range of torque and speed here, but it's not unlimited. At a certain point, if you need torque and speed additionally, we need to get a larger actuator. Again, in contrast to an actuator with an AC induction motor, which operates at a single speed, here we are simply changing settings in a menu rather than have, having to switch out physical motors or physical gears to achieve a different output speed or torque. This provides a lot of flexibility within a single actuator. This technology opens up a lot of new possibilities. Let's look at a few examples. So we changed the chart here. Now the x-axis is a valve position closed to open, and the y-axis is speed. With a variable speed actuator, we can set the speed here, or here, or here, through changes in the setup menu. We can set the higher speed to open the valve quickly, and we can set a lower speed to close the valve slowly, or vice versa, slow closing and fast opening. What if we want to close it quickly to a certain point, but then slow it down to prevent water hammer? We can do that. That doesn't mean, however, that we can't do something different on the opening stroke. Maybe we open at a certain rate and then speed it up partway through the stroke. If you have an emergency shutdown signal sent to the actuator, that can be set to yet another speed. Finally, the Betis RTS with mechanical failsafe has adjustable speeds on the spring return itself, allowing you to customize that stroke as well. So this example is getting a bit ridiculous, and no one would set up an actuator like this, but the point of all this is that configurations can be done within a single actuator without changing any mechanical components. Additionally, with the exception of the mechanical fail-safe speed, all of these settings can be made non-intrusively on the Betis RTS user interface. In summary, not only does this technology allow you to really optimize the actuator for your process, it allows you to potentially stock fewer actuators on the shelf and may allow you to reconfigure an actuator if your process condi conditions change. We hope this video was helpful in giving you an understanding of the possibilities of variable speed electric actuators and specifically some of the capabilities of the Betis RTS. Variable speed electric actuation is a new and exciting technology, opening the possibility to improve optimization of plant processes and provide flexibility for the end user. If you'd like to get more information or speak to an Emerson expert, please don't hesitate to contact us. Another new area for electric actuation is the coupling of an electric actuator with a mechanical fail-safe spring return. To learn more, please join us on the next video.